Y'all was tripping, mm. not me. Mm. But you guys were tripping. Mm. What a fight. What a show. What an event. So Ryan Garcia recently said he was trolling. It was all an act in order to promote this fight. And he alluded that it was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Let's check this out. Yeah, so was this was this all an act? What yeah. part of it was real? Tell us about it. Uh, I mean, my, my cameraman, Chance, Ajay's there. Um, hey, we have a pre-recorded months ago. What did I say it was going to happen? I said, I'm about to make sure everybody thinks I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Why? Wow, this is going to be the call the great escape. Like, I have it all documented. I was already kind of, uh, you know, weeks and weeks and months behind. Uh, I don't know what made me come up with the idea, honestly. I just, uh, one day just decided just to go all in and just commit to a plan that I had. And I was not going to budge for nobody. It doesn't matter if I went on his podcast, anybody's podcast. I was acting like sporadic. I just, I crazy. I go on. Your man was like, you were just like faces. I'll like, I'll do this with my nose. Like, I non, saw that. Like, it's just a tick. I had every. So he said it was just an act. And at first he says he's not sure what inspired it. But once he started going down that trail, he wasn't going to uh, break, uh, you know, for anyone and, and, and break the, the, the act that he was doing. Now on this next scene, he does allude to the fact that he says it was the Holy Spirit prompting him. Now, again, I have some verses I want to share with you after this, but check out what he says here and let's see if we agree with it. I'm curious as to what you think. Did you watch something that inspired you to want to, you know, change your approach of marketing for a fight? What, what got you to say, I'm going to take a complete different approach with marketing this fight? Well, it was just basically, it kept on unraveling itself. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, it was more of a it wasn't so much like my ideas, like more just wisdom coming from God. And then I just made adjustments as I went. Like, um, I would have these strong, uh, I guess feelings or just urges like, from, like, like Nick's from the Holy spirit to do this, do that, do this, do that. And then like, God always cleaned up everything that I was doing because I felt like on the one side, it was like, I had the enemy pushing me to do certain things. And then I had, you know, God. And then it was just like, no matter what happened, God always made it right. So it, I would have to give all the credit to God and the wisdom of uh, of God and and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so he says that to be honest, he thinks that it was uh the Holy Spirit like just kind of inching him, nicking him or whatever however he describes it, uh prompting him if you will. Maybe that's more of a familiar word for most of us to do these things and then he would act sporadic and then God would clean it up. Now, this is kind of crazy what he's saying. And I want to share with you a few uh, stories in the Bible of people who uh, did some crazy things, uh, but yet God still used them. And then I want to try to tie this all together. Like, for example, Isaiah, he walked around and naked while he was prophesying. So that's, that's sporadic. That's kind of crazy, right? Jeremiah hid his underwear under a rock by the Euphrates and wore yoke bars while speaking. That's weird, right? Hosea married a prostitute and named his children on usual names. We have Jonah, right? Most of us know Jonah who ran away from God and ended up in the belly of a large fish for three days. We have Ezekiel who ate a scroll, laid on his side for 390 days, cooked his food over manure and prophesied over dry bones that came to life. Habakkuk, right? Confronted God about his seemingly inactivity. And Balaam wrote a, rode a talking donkey. And so we, we don't see, uh, abnormal things not abnormal in the Bible. In other words, we read about things that were sporadic. We read about things, people that God used that were actually kind of crazy, right? But, but I think the difference here is, and, and again, I'm curious as to what you think. The difference here is that these prophets all led everybody back to God in the end. It's crazy as it meant, or as, as it seemed, they all led the people back to God. They got their attention. It was a wild thing that they did, but it did lead them back to God. Now, is Ryan Garcia leading people back to God through his antics? This is what I see as the difference here. I don't, I don't think he is. I don't think he's leading people back to God. He's mentioning God and he's saying, Jesus, 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 like all oh, repetitively. And then we'll go out on this crazy cursing and, and, and whatnot. Um, but I don't think at the end of the day, it could be God prompting him. And I'm not judging whether he's saved or not. I, I believe, you know, that's between him and God. If he believes in God and maybe he's just a little, I, I don't know. 
I don't, I'm not really sure. I, I don't want to comment on that, but I do believe biblically that if this was from God, that if it was this crazy antic, and by the way, God does clean up all our messes. He said that that's accurate. God cleans up all the mistakes I make all the time. And I'm sure you could relate to that as well. But all I'm saying is at the end of the day, these prophets did crazy things that led people to God, to repentance. And I don't think that the sporadic things that Ryan is doing is leading people to God, to repentance. I could be wrong. I'm curious as to what you think. Uh, Let me know. I'll see you on the next one.